We're gonna work on the dragon scale. My daughter has been bothering me for the past month to get her dragon scale cup done. So I figured I would jump on here um, and work on one. I'm gonna wait for a few people to jump on. So if you jump on, say hi. I'm gonna make a comment so I don't know. I hopefully I can start seeing comments on my iPad because for some reason I can't. They don't stay on. Um Okay. So we'll see if that works. Okay. Um so what I will be using today is some um double-sided tape, sticky tape. I did a dragon scale a long, long time ago, and I used Mod Podge, and we don't get along at all, at all. So um, a few months ago, I decided to do some video searching, and I had seen um, double-sided tape. Well, then I ordered this huge set um, from... Mr. Nola's, they carry just all these different sizes in a variety pack. So I ordered it and it's perfect because you can adjust as you need to. So um, I think it comes with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, like five different sizes. So that's really nice. Um, so I'm just gonna be using double-sided sticky tape and I have these little tin and plastic containers and all I did is I just cut a bunch of dragon scales and they're in here. Um, hopefully I have enough, might not, um, but I just want to show this part first. We won't stay on for the whole thing because it's kind of repetitive. Um, but then, um, hi Vicki, but then I will come back after we get this, after I finish this, um, and I'll just tell you the next steps and so forth. And we'll just do a second part tutorial. Everybody does these differently. Um, this is just what worked for me. I use just regular plain cardstock. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it around. I hope it's not too noisy. I have a couple turners going. So let me know if you can hear me all right. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip you guys around, so. And then let me know if you can see. Okay, so looks like it. I have a whole mess on my desk. So, um, so the first thing is, is what's nice to know is your double-sided tape. You don't have to worry about little crinkles and stuff like that because you're not going to see if the cardstock will um, cover it up. I could not tell you how many scales go on a cup because I do not count them. I just cut and cut and cut. And then if I don't have enough, I go back and cut some more. So, um, so all I'm gonna do is the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tape the whole entire cup. So that's kind of the boring part. Um, I could have started this, I guess, but I didn't. And um, I'm just gonna tape it all the way around. And I'm leaving a little bit of a seam at the bottom. I'm using this thicker tape. Um, I haven't used this one yet, but being it's a bigger cup, I figured I would try it and see, see how it goes. So um, you're not going to see the tape at all, so I'm not really worried about straightness or stuff like that. I just want to make sure that I have... enough tape to go all the way up with my scales. Um, and like I said, I won't do the whole cup today. That's probably boring. But um, what I will do is just do a few rows. Hi, Jennifer. Um, I'll just do a few rows, but this is what you would do all the way up your cup. Okay, up your cup. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired today. What's everybody working on today? What's everybody doing? 
like I said, they don't have to be straight. They don't have to be perfect. Um, you can have gaps because you're not going to see any of this. Um, you just want to have a good adhesive area for your cardstock to stick. I really, 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 really wish I could show you what is on my turner, but I can't. Gotta wait, but it's exciting. So I'm just gonna do one more row. But you, I find that taping the whole entire cup is a little bit easier for me. Hi, Roberta. Um, just because you don't have to worry about stopping and taping again and vice versa. So I find taping the whole entire cup easier. Um, like I said, this thick tape, man, look how far I've gotten already. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then you can use a smaller tape to um, add to areas that don't fit with the thicker tape. But I'm just kind of pulling along and kind of pushing a little tight as I pull, almost like you're stretching it, but you're not. Um, and then I'm just cutting, so. And it's okay if it'll overlap, I'll show you um, what I do when it overlaps. And like I said, you won't see any of that, so. So this will be part one. I'll come back after I finish the dragon scales. I'm just gonna do a few rows today. Um, and then I'll finish the dragon scales off camera. I'll just do the same exact thing that I'm gonna show you today, all the way up the cup. And then, um, and then we'll do the next step. So I'm gonna stop here because you guys kind of get the idea. So what I would do is I would take this and I would do, let's see, one, probably two more, and then I would take a skinnier one and I would do right there, okay? So that's what I would do. That's why it's kind of nice to have all these different sizes of tape. So um, now, I do not peel all of them at once. I'll leave all of these. Um, when I do a dragon scale, you want to make sure your cup is going to sit. So when I start placing these, I will place it right on the tip, okay? And I do not spray my cup ahead of time. I just sand it and clean it really well. But I want to make sure this point is just a little above, okay? Above this, the edge of the cup on the bottom because you want to be able to, number one, get a good seal. And number two, you want it to be able to sit without being having all these little points at the bottom because then it becomes um, a little bit of a pain. So your first row, is your most important row. So we're going to, let's see if I can get this removed. Okay, so, um, so this is your adhesive and we're just going to take my first one and I just wanna place it. And I just want to kind of eyeball it mm -hmm. and make sure it's straight and it's not. So I'm just going to Turn it just a hair and push it down. Now with this touching, I am going to go ahead and remove this second one. Okay, so that way I don't have to have any worries. And then that part is going to touch that tape and that is sitting perfectly flat. I don't know if you can see that, but like it's pushed down all the way. You don't have to worry about any um, pieces coming up, so. And this tape is so, 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 so sticky. So then what I wanna do is, I'm going to set this on there. Um, just do another one and I just want to eyeball it and I want to overlap it just a hair. Just like that. And we're just gonna go all the way around the cup like that. And I try to stay I'm going one direction just because that's what works for me. Um, I use the smaller scales just because I like them smaller, but you can use any size you want. Um, I cut these, um, I think 
is like a little under one and a quarter inch tall. But like I said, you can do whatever size you want. And I would probably go bigger if I was doing like a um, more rounder cup with a bigger circumference, but um, I'm not, so. goodness what's uh, the weather like everywhere today guys I'm just gonna finish up this row and then you're gonna see that there's a spot and it's kind of uh, smaller than the other areas and that's okay um, and we'll just focus and just overlap it just like that um, and that's it so then I want to make sure I'm starting in this area again the same area I started hot in Alabama how hot is it Vicki so now what I want to do is I want to take this point and these corners and I want to do an even coat what I find I want to kind of do it in between this is where you come in and decide how uh, far apart um, that you want them. I like them lower just because that's what I like. Hot in Texas. Um, it's only supposed to be like 89 here today. So New Jersey, hot, very hot. Um, anybody getting any storms or anything like that? We're supposed to get really bad storms from this um, tropical storm that came through and it all missed us. We had like crazy winds, but that was it. So I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just pushing down and I haven't removed any more tape yet. Um, high, high 80s, I'm hoping Vicki, because 800s, I am like flying to a different country. <laughs> um, 90s. See, yeah, I don't have my air turned on yet because yesterday it was like, I'm not kidding you, it was in like 70s and it was nice and cool and we have an attic fan and so when I turn the attic fan on, it just blows in this awesome air, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to break down and turn it on. So I'm just doing point to point um, all the way up the cup. Um, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and bore you guys with a bunch 80s. <laughs> Vicki, I kind of uh, insinuated that you uh, meant 80s because could you imagine? I mean, I'm just not even ready for 100 degrees yet. I just, I don't do well in the heat. And then I'm just going to finish this row out. And then talk about the next few steps. The scales are not final. They are cardstock. Um, they are just, they are not even a heavy cardstock. They're just a light cardstock. Um, I got it on sale at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, speaking of lousy typers, autocorrect has been horrible for me lately. I do a lot of straw toppers, as you guys probably know, and I cannot tell you, um, I cannot write the word toppers. It automatically corrects all my P's to O's, and it's just, it's terrible. Um, the double-sided tape I got from Mr. Nola's, um, let me show you real quick. It came with several different sizes. Okay, and then it came with two of these, two of these, and two of this size. So, um, it's just, um, they're really convenient to have, to have all the different sizes. Put those back. Um, what kind of tape? Yeah, so, um, it's just double-sided sticky tape. It came in a kit, um, which is nice. So, you have so many different 
sizes you could do. And like I was telling people earlier, I did this fatter and I can go all the way up the cup with this, but then I have a little bit of a gap and I can just take another piece and I can fit it on um, without having to overlap or anything like that. Cause I don't undo the tape until I go up with my scales. Um, so, and so we're going on the third row and this is where, um, this is where this is overlapping. This top is overlapping. So that is when I will come through and I will remove my next um, piece. That way it lays flat. Uh, Mr. Nola's is where I got the tape from. She saw it's a it's a whole kit. So I'm just gonna come around and I'm just gonna do the same thing. Um, sometimes I like to stagger the points so it's a little um, uneven and not perfectly symmetrical. But I'm trying to keep my points, I, I'm trying to keep it to where it's not going straight up. You want it to be staggered. Um, kind of like when you're cutting plank floors, you don't want all the seams on one um, angle. So, but this this tape is super super sticky, guys. Super sticky. Um. So, I will tell you the next few steps that I'm going to do to this, and then we'll come back for part two. After I get all my dragon scales on and placed, I will go all the way up the cup. I am, this is a hydro flask. I am stopping right here on this, okay? Um, the lid's up here, but with this curve, I'm going to stop right here. And I'll curve the scale, the top of the scale, um, up into this curve, okay? So then after I do that, I will um, Mod Podge. Ugh, Mod Podge, yes, Mod Podge. Um, I will Mod Podge the whole entire thing. Am I the only one that doesn't like Mod Podge? Oh, this stuff is so hard to work with. Um, so I'll Mod Podge, and when I Mod Podge it, what I do is I start from the top and I Mod Podge the whole thing in a downward motion, okay? That's what I do first. I do not go upwards on my first coat, okay? You want a nice, decent coat, um, thick, um, but I go down only. After that is dry is when I will go up because you want them to go up underneath any little lips you have, any lifts. Um, if you get that Mod Podge up underneath there a little bit, you need to make sure it's fully, fully dry. Um, but that helps when you're epoxy, when you go to epoxy it, that will help um, less divots, I guess. Um, so that's what I do. And then my third coat, after that one's completely dry, um, I will do up and down motion. And then um, I will let that completely dry and I will spray paint it. Um, I'm spray painting this one gold. Um, I have a really cool gold. And then um, we will come back for the second part because I'm going to be adding mica to this one. Mica eco glitter type of thing. So um, I can do the second part after that. But like I said, it's just a matter of placing scales and all the way up the cup and then Mod Podging. It is so important to seal these um, really well. So, I don't know, can you see that guys? That's just what you want all the way around the cup. Um, and then just do that and like, see, I'm not perfect. I have a little spot. I'm okay with it um, because like I said, the whole entire thing is going to get um, 
it's gonna go gold so you're not really going to see that so um but I guess does anybody have any questions does I mean I don't want to have to keep going on because it's like a super long process and it's Friday I'm so excited um I have some fun molds that I'm going to be working on tutorials um, coming up if there is a certain mold that you have or that you've seen on the website that you really want to learn more about feel free to comment um, but I'm going to be working on some really cool fun new molds um, so if there's questions you have about those feel free to reach out to me the scales um gosh you know i don't remember where i got them from but i can upload it if there isn't one uploaded um i can upload it to the website so you guys can use it I, I honestly don't remember where I got it. I've had them for so long. And I've only, I, like I said, I tried this once with Mod Podge and it I just didn't work for me. So that's when I um, had seen a few months ago that there's people were using double-sided tape and um, totally not my idea. It just works for me. So um, some people do use vinyl for their scales. I personally don't because I don't want to um, I don't like to see the indentations that's just my personal preference so um, I'm going to stop here I'm gonna finish the rest of this cup later today and then we will um, I'll come back so like I said just go all the way up as far as you want um, and then Mod Podge it really, really, really well. And then spray paint it the color you want. Um, I should have probably used white cardstock, but that's okay. Um, and then we will come back. I will schedule a part two. And let me know if you guys have any questions. So um, I'm going to jump off of here and I guess try to finish this. So everybody have a good weekend. Um, stay cool if it's super hot where you are. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.